after the old stuff break, you guys pretty good, right? Yeah, right. Well, what's the change? What, what, what is the reason for you? Today? Right, no, the, the trade was huge. I mean, uh, we really like Paul Seawald and we miss him, but those those new guys can zone and uh, Rojas are tearing it up. They're playing great. They're playing great ball. They're really good in the lineup. So I think that helped for sure. Did, did you feel anything change before and then after the old stuff break? You know? Yeah, we were cold at the All-Star. I mean, we, we've been pretty cold, and we were cold after the All-Star break, but they started started jumping in. Mm. Julio had that tear of a month, and just been fun to watch. Mm. And cool. The thing about the Mariners is we play Mariner ball. Nobody else gets it. But at some point, we start playing the ball. We go through what we do as Mariners fans, the highs and the lows. We're always 500, and then we hit a streak. And then we start playing. And then we gather around our team like nobody else can, because we're Seattle Mariners fans. Nobody else gets this. And then we go through a rough streak and now we're gonna hit back on high and we're gonna start winning and we're making it playoffs. We're gonna be legit. That's how we do it. It's the Seattle Mariners. You can't make this stuff up. We roll how we roll in Seattle. Every other team that Yankees, Angels, Dodgers, nobody gets how the Mariners roll. We roll how we roll because we are true Seattle Mariner fans. That's how our team does it. And every day we're by them and we're loving it as Seattle Mariners fans. Nobody gets being 500, losing, and then all of a sudden taking it to a trip where you can never understand August like we have. Nobody has. That's how we do it. Up and down, no matter what. Losing season, winning season, playoffs, World Series, this year, Mariners. There you go. Yeah, we're hanging in there, yeah. yeah. We had a good streak, but then we kind of fell off a little bit lately, but we're doing good. Yeah, especially after the old stuff break. Yeah. So what was the change then, before and then after? It was kind of expected all year that this would be happening, but uh, you know, for some reason, I kind of just woke up after the All-Star break. I think the All-Star break gave the guys a chance to get rested and then just uh, come out strong. And they they were definitely strong in uh, the end of July, August. Mm. Best August they've ever had. Mm. What do you think about, you know, the Angels compared to Mariners? You know, like uh, after the All-Star, almost same like a result, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's totally different right now. Yeah. Well, and you've had problems with Oshani, their your starting pitcher, you know, and different things that have, you know, your stars that have kind of been out. And so that, that causes a big, it's unfortunate that three or four players could make a team difference between first and second and third place. Mm. I mean, I, I think it was just they kept going with what they were, were doing. Like, they never gave up. They uh, they followed the process. We have the greatest coaches in the league. Uh, Pete Woodworth's the best pitching coach in the league, without a doubt. Uh, and then Julio gets hot, right? Julio starts playing the way you expected him to play all year long. And now it's uh, they're right there. And, you know, four teams going for three spots. And somebody's going to be disappointed, and I sure hope it's not us. After the All-Star break, the Angels and the Mariners is almost same like a result, right? I just, I think there's a lot of internal things with the Angels that's not good. That's just from my perspective. I don't follow them that close, but um, I think Otani and Trout should want to get out of there. But, you know, that's, hey, that's just a guy that likes to watch baseball saying that. But from my perspective, it seems like the Angels are, are a rough organization internally. And until they fix that, they're going to keep struggling. Oh, I see. Um, I think we just started hitting better. Like, Julio got hot. And uh, hey, Oscar Hernandez, hey, Oscar Hernandez got, got better. And our starting pitching also has like kind of hit a high this past month. Mm. month before. Yeah. How about compared to Angus, you know? I mean, I feel like just got unlucky with the injuries. Otani oh. getting hurt, Trout getting hurt. Like, I just, that makes it tough to win in this league. Mm. Yeah. They also bought, they got aging superstars, I'd say. And it's like, are they going to get better or are they not? And it was really like, a questionable like are these guys gonna add that much and then, like, the cutting also didn't help cutting all those guys like this wasn't a good pickup at the trade that Mariners they the management they know what to do you know they, they get the right people even though our our owner doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money right now we're still able to make the right decisions and, and some of it's luck too you know but most of it's just hard work it just looks like the the players are just getting more into it we have some real good promising new players a lot of rookies players in their second years they're really amping up and just doing real good work 
You know, so we're on track to be a serious uh, World Series contender in a couple of years. Did you feel anything changed, you know, before and then after the All Star break? This year, and last two years, we've just yeah gotten the right players finally. Mm -hmm. You know, just the right things we, click. Things click. You know, it's not just that we have oh we have great defense, but our offense is lacking, or the other way around. This time we have good defense, a good good offense, good bullpen. We have amazing batters. Mm -hmm. You know, players that everybody really seems to love, so there's just a, little, just a lot going on right now. We were really hoping for Otani. <laughs> we really hope we really hope Otani heals up well. He's a good guy. Well, what's a change though? What happened? Well, the big guys, Rodriguez, Teoscar, and the pitchers all got together and decided they want to start winning. Oh. And the Trident has a lot to do with it. Mm. <laughs> They have so much confidence right now. They can beat anybody. As long as they stay healthy. You know, I think it's just things started clicking for some guys. You know, Julio started uh, hitting the ball, and, uh, you know, the pitching's been strong all year, but the pitching was super strong, and the guys just put it together. So, uh, yeah, it's been exciting. I think they had a good team all along. They just, just gelled. Yeah. So it just takes that momentum to get going and then you go. They've had good pitching all year and the batters started hitting. So next year when they have Otani, they'll be even better. <laughs>